perhaps you're very clear on what it is that makes you happy, what it is that you want to be experiencing in your everyday reality, and yet that's not what's coming true. And you could wonder, is there negative energy around me? Is something blocking me? And I'm going to propose that what if it's your very own mind that's sabotaging your happiness? In this video, I'm going to talk all about how this happens and what it is you can do about it so that you can shift out of it. My name's Aliki. I'm here to help you upgrade your energy. And yes, our minds very often are what is responsible for blocking us from experiencing our desired reality. Our minds are made up of so many different layers of energy. Everything you've seen, everything you've experienced, everything you've come across is always stored in a part within you energetically. And this type of energy that you're not consciously aware of, but is flowing within your subconscious is extremely powerful. And without you even realizing it or knowing that it's there, knowing that it's written within you, it can be affecting everything that you're experiencing, not just your perception of what it is you're experiencing, but the actual events that are coming true, that are manifesting around you. And there's a reason that this happens. All types of energy that we experience, everything from the smallest thing that we see to the biggest life event that you've had, is written within you in a certain way, depending on the emotions that came up when you saw it and experienced it, depending on the thoughts, the beliefs that were formed, and the depth that they had within you. These take up a certain part of your energy. And what happens is when something around you triggers something, a certain part of you, all of that energy comes forward. It could be something that you don't even consciously remember, something that happened way in the past. And yet, because it's written energetically within you, that energy comes forward. And it's not affected by time or space, so it could come forward as if you were experiencing it in this very moment. When that happens, all the emotions connected to this, all the feelings connected to this, all the thoughts and beliefs come flooding forward. And they can very often collide with your existing emotions, your existing beliefs, and your existing reality around you, which means it can cause a huge amount of turmoil within you, causing you to feel confused, wondering what's happening with your energy, wondering why it is that you can't think clearly. And the reason is because the past and present are mixing in a way that you're not consciously aware of. And when this happens, the events that you experienced come forward subconsciously. And even though you may not remember them consciously, subconsciously you do. And you can have certain fears that come forward. And you want to protect yourself. It's very natural as human beings for us to want to do everything we can to avoid feeling physical pain, emotional pain, sadness, heaviness, anything that will make us feel bad. We try to avoid, we try to keep away from and actually protect ourselves the best way possible. So if a certain event comes forward in your life, you could suddenly have all these alarm bells ringing just because it triggered that part of you. And what it is that is happening in the here and now could truly be irrelevant to what part of you is coming forward. I'm going to take a step back to explain how this energy works. Everything that's recorded within you has a very specific frequency and a very specific vibration. And so when something of the same frequency or the same vibration is seen or experienced by you, it triggers that same part of you, meaning that that energy is suddenly released into your current reality. And that means that you experience it again because it attracts that energy once again into your reality. And it could be what you want to avoid. It could be what you want 
to not experience again. Another thing that happens that reinforces this to become even stronger is that because you're on the lookout to not have those same experiences, to not have those same feelings come up that experience that you experienced in the past that made you feel so heavy or sad or bad you want to avoid them and so by being on the lookout for you not to have them again what you actually do is attract them you're looking for them you spot them you focus on them and they come into your current reality meaning that you keep experiencing the same of the old the same of what it is that you do not want to be experiencing, the same of the things that you have sworn to yourself that this is the type of person I don't want in my life. This is the type of thing I don't want to keep having in my life. And yet there it is again and again and again. And you wonder what's wrong with me? What's happening? Nothing's wrong with you. The fact is that this is what your energy has gotten used to and what it keeps connecting with. So what's the way out of this? If you think of these as spheres of energy, pockets of energy that are within you, when they're brought to the surface because of something that triggered them in the external environment, when they're brought to the surface, what happens is they attract similar circumstances and very often similar emotions within you. These emotions, because they pile on to the previous experiences that you had, the previous memories that are carried within you, when these memories and these emotions come to the surface and they bond with what you are experiencing in the here and now, they're reinforced and they can be so much more powerful and carry a very heavy depth to them, which is written once again within you, once again there to attract the same thing over and over again. So what if you become consciously aware that this is happening, that you're attracting the same type of energy, and you decide that I'm going to shift this. I'm going to focus on what it is I want to be experiencing, to focus on my desired reality, feel it as if I am experiencing it right now, and see if that's what I attract. If you do this for a certain amount of time, in a state of meditation, in a state of you feeling uh, mindful and just being at peace, and you focus on your desired reality, you feel that it's already happened, and you feel it, you know it, you get to know what it feels like, and yet you see that it doesn't come true. You see that it's not what it is that you are attracting. What's happening? The thing is that the power of your subconscious is extremely strong. It is much more powerful than your conscious mind because you are so used to being in the energy of your mind rather than in the energy of your heart, which is so expansive, so much more high frequency and high vibrational. So by being in the energy of your mind, it's very natural that it's the external world that is affecting you. And as soon as you start, to focus on your desired reality, to focus on what will make you truly happy, happy to experience life. What happens is that things in your external reality happen that trigger you, that bring about this feeling of sadness, of heaviness, of uh, loss. And these heavy feelings are so overwhelming to you that you shift away from the happy feelings of creating your desired reality and you go into feeling heavy and sad, which is what your life circumstances are bringing about in you. It's your external environment affecting you and not what it is that you want to be consciously creating, attracting what you want in the world around you. This doesn't mean that your mind is consciously sabotaging your happiness, that it's consciously attracting into your life what you don't want, what makes you feel sad. It's not an entity that's against you. It's just a creature of habit. It likes to feel safe and secure. And what makes your mind feel safe, secure and secure is what is known, what it's used to. Even if that's sadness, even if that's fear and pain, if that's what it knows what, how to deal with, that is what it will 
gravitate towards. So what do you do? You shift out of the mind and you move into the heart. You shift out of being mind-centered and you move into being heart-centered. That is the key. That is what moves you into very naturally attracting what makes you happy, very naturally attracting what fills you with love, what makes you feel excited to experience your day. This is the key and this is the answer. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe.